More Threads, a brand owned by a former teacher and Black American freedman, use their apparel and more to teach hidden truths and Black American history. More Threads will address the lack of knowledge and negative images in our community. Check out www.morethreads.com to purchase our apparel, read thought-provoking blogs, and more. Sign up to have raw conversations and wear clothing that acknowledges, celebrates, and honors our lineage at www.morethreads.com. Peace, family. Vicki Dillard here. So pleased to be a contributor on African Diaspora News Channel. Please make sure that you give us a big thumbs up and share the broadcast. Thank you so very much. Now, family. I, you know, I absolutely love our um, international uh, family, our Black African uh, diaspora family. And so you all know that there has been a bit of a brouhaha here in the United States because so many Black actors are discriminated against. So many Black actors um, are li literally, you know, not making a living and trying to get major roles. But it appears that in some instances, that Black American actors and actresses are intentionally overlooked and frankly punished and given, you know, to other uh, immigrants or migrants uh, from around the world. And one of the things that um, Black Americans recognize is that sometimes uh, the oppressive class in America, they do that on purpose to reward other Blacks coming from around the world so that they're encouraged not to... Uh, be allies with us in white supremacy. They want many of our brothers and sisters from around the world to feel so grateful for getting these roles and positions and stuff that they never, they don't, they don't uh, collaborate with us. They don't work with us because they don't want to upset the powers that shouldn't be. Do y'all understand what I'm talking about? And so I think this is a dynamic that our black family from around the world should understand that this kind of this is one of the little methods that our open enemy does here in America to pit us against each other and to get and to reward you so that we don't have strength from other our other brothers and sisters from around the world. It's also a way for them to punish us to get in line. You understand not to complain and not to push back uh, on uh, anti-black white supremacy here in America. We know how they work. Well, in the latest little brouhaha we find here, British actor, Mr. David Ayelowo. Now I know I done, that's Mississippi pronunciation. <laughs> so black to me, black family. That's from the dictionary, not the dictionary. That's the diacritical pronunciation from the dictionary. Dictionary is my book of words, not the dictionary, but the dictionary. Anyway, I did some research on him. So uh, he's considered to be a British actor, even though obviously it's clear that his parents are from the continent. But listen to this. Um, for those of you that are unaware, they're looking to have David O, we're going to call him David O, uh, to star as Bass Reeves. If you don't know who Bass Reeves is, Bass Reeves is that black bad law enforcement agent that served, that most believe serves as the inspiration for the white Lone Ranger. That's why the Lone Ranger even wore that black. Talk black to me, somebody. Side note, pretty much any major, any major hero that you watch or see, the inspiration is either directly or indirectly uh, uh, from, you know, somebody black in the first place. But for those of you that may not be familiar with this U.S. Uh, black law enforcement agent, let me just give you a little background. Legends of America states Reeves, who was born to slave parents in 1838. Just give me a little bit of history, became the first black U.S. deputy marshal west of the Mississippi River. He's highly regarded as one of the greatest frontier heroes in U.S. histories. Are y'all hearing me? The lawman is known to have 14 outlaws in addition to apprehending more than 3,000 during his tenure as a U.S. marshal. This is according to Britannica, which means it's likely way more than that. The mortality rate of being a deputy marshal back then was so high that the fact that he had 3,000 arrests in a career that spanned into his 60s. These were things that were just unthinkable. So family, Black Americans who again are looking for, uh, that are in need of jobs here, actors are in need of jobs. We're fighting white supremacy in the way that 
many people are not, particularly with America, because of America's position in the world today. This does not negate the difficulty of white supremacy around the world. We acknowledge that. You just heard me do that, and I've done that on many other shows. We know uh, the realities of white supremacy around the world, but we're trying to educate our brothers and sisters from other countries not to knowingly or unknowingly join in with our open enemy to unnecessarily punish us, you understand. There is something that happens amongst the black grassroots when we're able to see us represented in a certain way, particularly by our own. Are y'all feeling me? And once again, this goes to the point of many in black Twitter, especially that have gone off about this. Black Twitter has made this subject viral because they are not happy about it at all. That's how I actually learned about it. What's going to be done about it? And I want to know from my brothers and sisters around the world, what do you guys think about it? We don't think it's by accident that some of the most iconic roles are being given away. Something to think about. My name is Vicky Diller. Be sure to check out my website, my products and services at VickyPlanet.com. The link is below. Also, be sure to subscribe to my new weekly live uh, channel at Vicky Diller. Uh, TV here on YouTube. And of course, be sure to subscribe and share this broadcast right here from African Diaspora News Channel. Hey family, make sure you join us on the new and improved AfricanDiasporaNews.org. Now it is our uncensored and raw truth website. We have to make sure to have our own website because on social media platforms, they do have rules and at any time they could change a rule and shut a whole genre down. Now that would not happen to us because on AfricanDiasporaNews.org, we can speak the truth. We don't have to hold back. So make sure you join our website today.